YouTube video. We're bringing the energy today. YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stop it for copyright issues, but welcome to a new video. That's a little cringy, did not go very smoothly. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get into kind of a workout today. Um, and guess who's here working out, lifting here in Oneida? Guess who it is? Can you guess by the giggles? I think you probably can. Quinn Georgery. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so I'm gonna kind of explain my workout. Um, I'm moving into a new block of training, it's all new. Um, so I'm gonna explain that in just a sec and then we'll get into the actual workout. All right, so I told you I'd explain. Um, I'm into a new block of training and this block is going to be unilateral focused. So that means a lot of single arm, single leg exercises to work on each side individually. And I'm kind of doing this just to switch it up and to work on imbalances. Um, like my right arm is overall stronger than my left arm or like my right delt is bigger than my left delt, right leg bigger than my left leg. Um, it's not very noticeable by any means, but this will just be a nice block to focus on improving on those imbalances so I am more balanced overall and making uh, just some like form improvements overall because it'll be more lighter weight focusing on form and technique so it'll be good for that. Um, so what I mean by unilateral is a lot of my workouts will be so I'll have like three sets of 10 reps each arm So say I'll be doing dumbbell incline bench. I'll like do either Alternating so I do like one hour time or I'll do like 10 with my left arm and then 10 with my right If I do them one arm before the other I'll always do my left side or my weak side first so then uh, say I do eight reps, I get eight reps with my left side, I'll only do eight with my right, even if I feel like I can do more. That's a great way for you guys. If you're wondering, that's how you can improve your imbalance. Do the reps with your left side or your weak side, and then you go do the same amount of reps with your right side or strong side, even if it does feel like you can do more. <laughs> now, unfortunately, uh, right now, I don't have access to great dumbbells because a pair of the clips got chewed on by the dog at uh, the Hofer gym here. So um, I can only do like 35 pound dumbbells. So it's gonna be kind of light today. We're hitting the legs. Um, but very, very soon I should be able to lift in the school weight room, which will be really nice. And you guys will be able to see there. Maybe I'll have a clip there later this week even. But without further ado, that's my new block, unilateral training. If you want to lift with me, check out the link in my bio down below to go train with me. It's super cheap. You pay like five bucks a month and you can get my workouts that I'm doing that month, like every single month. Um, pretty sweet deal because, I mean, yeah, it just is. Go check it out. Website link down below, grantjohnsonfitness.com. Let's get into the workout. Also, I forgot to tell you, but... Uh, so this training means like I'll be doing like no barbell movements at all. It's all dumbbell or single arm cable. Um, I'm not even traditional squatting or traditional benching for a whole four weeks is how long I'm doing this. So yeah, it's kind of a big change because I don't know the last time I went without squatting or benching or deadlifting like the big three. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt Gonna go far, man, listen to my words Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur When you're working this hard, yeah, you get what let's you go. deserve Yeah, I ain't taking a backseat I'm passing anybody else who is rapping I'm nasty, ain't nobody able to catch me They gasping, they cannot compare, they can't match me I'm at half speed, I got your girl and she laughing And dancing, hanging on my butt, she asking to crash with me so I got some single leg stand-ups And an unintended um, plus of doing unilateral training it's gonna really work on my balance um, both muscly and like bodily balance like being able to stand on one leg and do these like single leg stand-ups get a load of this guy pulling up yeah. big rigging it in my life has Avery given me the middle figure until now oh that's on video <laughs> <laughs> there's no I'm actual upset. Brew. When you're 
And you're too buff for lunges. Good form. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, that is a workout wrapped up. Um, leg day, I kind of took you through it. Maybe you can give it a try yourself. Uh, you see it before Instagram even sees it. Wow. But now we're going to go eat some supper, have some steaks. I don't know when I'll see you guys again, but I'll see you in the next clip, wherever that is. Okay, so one of the viewers in my last video, uh, Jet specifically, I believe, he was wondering your thoughts on my like low-calorie foods that I've been buying and like low-calorie diet, kind of. No thoughts at all. <laughs> <laughs> no thoughts at all? Final what was answer. the question again? What your thoughts Can you are? Repeat the question. What are your thoughts on like Can my I get a low word calorie? Of and it used in a sentence. <laughs> Gavin just showed what like little brothers are all about. <laughs> just being unnecessarily I have no annoying. Idea what the question was. We're just gonna cut it. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? It's the next day and I'm going to be making some supper. I'll just take you through it with me. We're gonna have kind of a really simple, quick, healthy meal, I guess. Um, we're gonna have some leftover T-bone steak with some rice and some broccoli um, and then some sauce. I'll just show you guys how I do it. It's super quick, super easy. Actually, I lied, it's not necessarily super quick, but it's pretty quick and pretty easy. All right, first things first, we're gonna need some water for our rice. We'll throw that on the stove and crank the heat so it gets to boiling. Now you're going to throw your rice in right now and wait until it boils. Now we're going to cut up our T-bone steak. This ended up being 6.4 ounces of steak total. Um, and then we'll move into the broccoli. This is just a frozen broccoli. We'll throw it in a bowl um, because I feel weird about microwaving it in plastic. I feel like that can't be good for you. So let's we'll throw it in a bowl quick. And then now the boiling rice now wait 10 minutes until you take it out broccoli can go in the microwave for six minutes and then we throw a plate on so it steams it, it has a little bit of a cover so six minutes here now when you're done I just move the plate off a little bit so it could cool off now I'll throw the steak into the microwave for about a minute and a half ish um, now the rice is done after like 10 12 minutes I uh, cut it open and just poured it into the bowl um, because I'm not sure how much rice is in here quite yet. I think I'll use it all Now we can take the steak out of the microwave. It's all cooked up now We'll add everything onto the plate. We'll measure out the rice normally. I don't actually do this like it's kind of a pain I would just I don't know. I wouldn't really worry about it that much, but I'm doing it for you guys So you know what I'm eating um, this ended up being about a cup and a half of brown rice cooked. That's how it was um, tracked and now we'll throw on some broccoli um, just plating it all up here this ended up being about eight ounces of broccoli in total I didn't season anything um, because I'm gonna throw on some sauce in just a minute here so now we add in our hoisin sauce this is by far my favorite sauce right now not necessarily low calorie but it just tastes delicious um, and that's just gonna go ahead and give us our final product um, pretty delicious, easy. All right, so that is supper made, pretty easy. Um, the key ingredient was the hoisin sauce for sure. I love having this hoisin on here. It's honestly my favorite sauce probably. Right now, it's not like low calorie or anything, but it's just so delicious and I love putting on like rice and meat. Um, nice full plate here, it's 723 calories um, and 57 grams of protein. 15 grams of fat and 84 grams of carbs. So pretty good meal for the day. So now would be a good time for me to tell you guys what I'm doing with my calories and eating my diet here at home. Um, so that puts my calories at like 2,000 for the day. And my previous, if you remember, I was eating like 2,600, 2,700 calories. And since I'm home, it's a lot harder to track um, because like supper that every night home cooked supper. I'm not gonna track that. That's just a nuisance So what I'm doing is kind of loosely tracking I'll track when I can when it's easy I'm not gonna worry about it too much So I track my breakfast and lunch most days because I like make my breakfast here myself in the mornings I have time and my lunches are kind of pre-made the night before and then I'll track supper only if it's convenient like tonight when 
I'm making my own meal so it wasn't hard to do. I'll make supper and track it. But normally, I'm not tracking supper. So I don't actually have that great of an idea of what I'm eating. Um, but I've just been making healthy choices. Like I know I probably shouldn't have half a pizza or I shouldn't have this many of this, this much of this. Like I've just been eating pretty healthy and I'm trying to keep my two meals I do track, my breakfast and lunch, high protein, low calorie, like so I know I have plenty of room for whatever I want to eat later on the night. And I'm doing this because it's easier and the summer I don't want to be tracking so strictly. I'm just trying to enjoy my time and it's um, just relax and have fun. I can still make progress. I weigh myself tomorrow and I'll tell you guys on Instagram what my weight is. I went up a little bit from last week, but um, feeling pretty good. I was looking really lean and then I noticed when I have high calorie days just because I know I did like eating out with my family or something. So trying to balance that out, eating low calorie, high protein when I can, but tracking not so much, not very strict. When I do track, I'll probably stay like probably less than 2300 honestly because I know I went higher on other days during the week so yeah that's what I'm doing for my diet right now not a huge dealio but I figured I'd let you guys know um, and then I think after this block of training I might get into a bulk so I'll tell, tell you guys about that in a new video future but yeah, I'm going to enjoy my supper because I'm hungry and it smells delicious. This hoisin sauce, the steak, the rice. Mmm, it's a heck of a meal. I love it. Editor Grant making another appearance. And that's going to be everything for the video, guys. Um, I'm just chilling in my robe. Finished editing everything. This is just the outro. I hope you guys like this kind of vlog style once again. I think I'm going to keep it up because it's kind of more fun for me. Um, but... I guess if you guys have any video requests or content requests ever, uh, just let me know because I want to make content you guys want to see. Um, I'm getting a little busy here, but I'm still getting this week's YouTube video out. I don't know about next week's and Instagram and TikTok. I might lag behind just because work is busy. Um, life is busy right now. I don't know why it's that bad, but I'm not going to stress about it. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.